Kel Kellogg of the Fish Sniffer Magazine here, and I want to talk about gulp soft baits today. Gulp is absolutely amazing, and in a lot of ways, it's revolutionizing fishing here in Northern California and beyond. Gulp is water soluble. It's actually made out of soybeans, and it has it's infused with a scent that just drives trout, salmon, even saltwater fish, just drives them crazy. Um, I'm, a, I'm a dirty night crawler troller. Um, trout love worms but I've really fallen in love with these gulp crawlers and I'd like to show you how I rig them. These are actually hollow body night crawlers and I've got one out of the package here. As you can see, they look, they look just, like the, just like the real thing. They look just like a night crawler. This cut end is hollow and I'll show you how I rig that and this is one of my go-to rigs when I'm trolling worms. This is what I love to use. I love to use a Sep Strike Master I use about a 14 inch leader and I just tip that with a number one light wire um, plastic worm hook. This is actually a bass fishing hook. I like it because it's got a ring eye. I'm using a 12 pound test Berkley Vanish fluorocarbon leader and I've got that hook attached with a Pelomar knot there. Just a simple loop on the back where I hook it onto the dodger. So I take my hook, I take that hollow crawler and I start to hook into that hollow end. And it's got a pretty big hole in it. It follows it on down. And I just take it down until I can feel it. I can feel it hit the solid part of the worm. And then I'll pull it down even a little bit further. And I'll turn that worm on the hook. Slide it down the leader a little bit. And there you go. You've got a threaded crawler behind your dodger. I'll throw this anywhere from about 1.2 to 1.8 miles an hour. Trout come up, they love that gulp scent. They'll hit this repeatedly until they hook themselves. It's deadly effective. And these worms come in different colors. This is the natural colored. Um, they come in chartreuse, they come in orange, and uh, they are just deadly effective. Anytime you'd use a worm, sometimes I use a larger blade with it, sometimes I pull them behind Vance's or Sepp's flashers, but uh, anytime you're at a lake, you wanna use worms, this is the way to go. They don't come with a bunch of mud in the can. You're not going to have dirty fingers, worm dirt all over your boat. And they're not going to die. You can keep these things in your tackle box indefinitely. And when you need a worm, when the going gets tough, break out the gulp and start reeling in the trout.